All right, let's go ahead and measure the uh, clutch pack clearance for the overdrive brake. And um, there's two different ways you can go about this. Uh, the direct method, which is how I refer to it or what I call it. Uh, most people will call it the drill bit method, but uh, you have the direct method and then you have the indirect method, um, otherwise known as the book method. So uh, first I'll show you the direct method that involves the use of the apply piston, the uh, selective spacer, the, the hub bearing, and then drill bits of uh, selected sizes. Then um, once we do that, I'll show you the indirect method or book method, and that involves a special tool and some measuring a little bit of math. So let's go ahead and uh, first uh, set up the uh, pack. And I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. All right, so first thing you wanna do is set your you set your hub bearing in, in its pocket. No assembly lube or anything like that. Just put it in there dry. I mean, if it has a little bit of transmission fluid, that's not going to make a difference. Um, but don't use assembly lube because that could conceivably throw off your measurements. Um, then set the uh, spacer that came with the transmission initially right on top of it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to locate the uh, spacer in its pocket on the apply piston. And when you put the apply piston in place, you're going to measure the gap or clearance between the apply surface here and the top of the steel plate. All right, make sure it's on there. And how you're going to measure that is using these uh, drill bits as feeler gauges. So this is 81 thousandths of an inch thick. So you could leave the ring in there if you want. You just move the gap so that it's kind of not in the way where you can take it out, it doesn't matter. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert this in here and you're gonna look for drag. And already I could feel some drag. Like I could feel that there's space, um, excuse me, there's no space between the apply surface and the, uh, the drill bit. I can move it, but there's drag. It's not like there's a gap. There's, you know, I can't move it up and down. I can move it side to side, but there's clearly, um, you know, contact between both surfaces and that bit. So that tells me this is um, hovering right at around 81 thousandths, which is a little tight for the overdrive pack. Um, I'll go up to 93 thousandths and see how that feels. 93 thousandths, I mean, I'm, I'm clearly moving the uh, the piston around. There's, there's no gap at all. So, my clearance is probably less than um, than the 81 thousandths that that drill bit, you know, the drill bit thickness is telling me. So what I need to do is find a slightly thicker plate. Uh, this plate, um, I believe measures, let's say, let's, you know, let's just measure it. So this plate's going to measure right at, looks like, 84 thousandths of an inch, 184 thousandths of an inch, excuse me, 184 thousandths of an inch using that bottom scale there, 183, 184. So I probably need something uh, a little bit thicker. The next size up I want to say is 199 thousandths. So let's go ahead and show you the indirect method or the book method and see if the results are in accord with uh, the direct method. So the tool you're going to need for this is a gauging bar. Okay, these are available um, on the internet. You can find them at Transpart Supply Houses, eBay. They're not that expensive. I want to say they're like 40 or 50 bucks. Uh, if you do a lot of these transmissions and it's definitely worth you know spending the money on, if you don't, the direct method is probably sufficient. But we'll go ahead and we'll show you both. And how this works is you use it in conjunction with your dial calipers and depth gauge, and you're going to take uh, four measurements. You're going to take a 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock measurement, um, and you're going to take it on the center of the hub. So you're going to get your bearing out of the way, and then you're going to measure by taking the dial indicator's depth gauge down, and you want to measure right in the center. And this could be a little tricky sometimes. You know, the, the dial indicator may want to move around on you, or caliper rather may want to move around on you. And um, 
you know, throw your measurement off, but this is telling me uh, 185 thousandths on the nose, so 1.850. So first I'll record the original spacer. And then I will record the uh, 12 o'clock position. We said that was 1.850. So we'll go ahead and do 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. One point eight four five. Three o'clock. One point eight four five. And lastly, nine o'clock. One point eight four two. All right, so let's add all these up. I get a sum total of 7.382, which we want to divide by four. Gives us 1.845. I have 1.846 if you round it. Okay, so let's look at the book. You can find this uh, chart on page 135, the manual. Basically, what we are looking for is to match our current thrust uh, thrust plate, which we said was 0.184, so in this range, 0.183 to 185. And we should have an aggregate average result of 1.825 to 1.839, uh, which we don't. We have a result in between 184 thousandths and 185 thousandths. So that tells us we need a selective washer that's one step up in thickness from what we have. So we're looking for something at about 199 thousandths in thickness. All right, so let's grab our selectives. Okay, what we can do is just real quick, let's look for one that kind of most closely resembles the original. And it looks like it's gonna be this one right here. And we'll go ahead and measure it. It's going to be right at 200 thousandths. So this is telling us that this transmission with this clutch stack up requires a 200 thousandths thick selective spacer. All right, so that's the indirect method. Um, whether you want to spend the money on a gauge bar and, uh, you know, go through the, uh, the process is up to you. Uh, the direct method was sufficient enough to tell us that there was a clearance issue. We had, you know, we were a little too tight on the clearance. So, um, you know, we knew we needed to make a change with that spacer anyway. 